Back when Justice League came out in 2017, it was obvious that the movie we saw in the theater was not the movie that us that had been following the movie's every development were expecting. Details came out little by little after what really happened behind the scenes. Part of unfinished scenes were leaking out and ultimately it was revealed that there was in fact another cut. Somewhere along the line, director Zack Snyder himself revealed that he originally had a five-movie arc in place that included Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and at the time, Justice League part, Parts 1 and 2. Supposedly, there was a fifth movie that was supposed to happen down the line, but nobody really knows what would have happened or what it would have been. For years, I have wondered if Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, was actually two movies in the five film plan. Hear me out. If you watch Batman v Superman, it certainly feels like two different movies. There's Batman v Superman, which culminates with the two fighting and Bruce coming to the realization that he's become the very thing he swore to fight against and realized that he was about to truly cross the line. As if shooting countless thugs with machine guns wasn't crossing the line enough. Not that I'm complaining, just pointing it out. I honestly thought it was pretty badass. Anyways. Then you have Dawn of Justice, which sees Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, the holy trinity of DC, come together to fight the doomsday monster created by Lex Luthor. And ultimately ends with Superman sacrificing himself to save all of mankind. I could be crazy here, but that has always seemed like two movies in one. After all, this was during a time when DC was doing everything they could to keep up with Marvel. Just saying. So based on that theory, perhaps Zack Snyder's Justice League, the Snyder Cut, is meant to be two movies in one, with it being an out-of-this-world four-hour cut of the film. So that would mean that Man of Steel was part one, BVS was part two and three, and the Snyder Cut of Justice League will be parts four and five, finishing Snyder's five film story arc once and for all. I know this may seem crazy to some, and perhaps it is, but what if it's not? What if I'm right? One thing all of us that have been following Snyder should know by now is that nothing is ever what it seems with Zack Snyder. Was this his plan all along, even after WB Warner Brothers axed the original plans following the backlash from Batman v Superman? I have heard stories, rumors, really, that Snyder actually shot multiple versions of Justice League, which falls in line with him saying that he has a cut. He has many cuts. Hmm. I would say that this makes sense. And if he did, in fact, shoot multiple versions of the same movie, then in a way, that has to be one of the most gangster things I have ever heard of a director doing. So, what I wonder is if he actually shot the scene in which, spoiler alert, did Zack actually shoot the scene in which Batman sacrifices himself for the League? Would that mean that Darkseid actually has more of a presence in this movie than we all thought? If that's the case, then, well, I guess it's pretty obvious that we're not going to get that Ben Affleck Batman series unless they do a prequel series, a prequel to uh, Batman v Superman. But, I don't know. I mean, honestly... I didn't think it would happen anyway, if I'm being completely honest. I feel certain that Ben is done with Batman and wants to move on. If that was to happen, though, I don't know how I would take it. But, you know, you know what? I, I don't want to count my chickens before all the eggs hatch. That's just a country saying for all of you out there that don't know what that means. 
basically, I don't want to expect too much and the movie not deliver again. You know, this is just a theory video. I'm not, you know, I'm just a fan speculating, but what if I'm right? You know, what if I'm right? Well, that's all I got, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, it means so much to me. I truly appreciate the support. If you did enjoy this video, then please do consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button. Thank you so much. I'm Michael Blake, and that was my take.